Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and click the like button right now. If you are new here, go ahead and click subscribe. Why is that fogging up right now? I'm not, I'm not dealing with that right now. So today I was thinking about reactions. I love food, okay? But the reason why my channel isn't made basically a reaction to food is because your girl's trying to eat healthier, okay? But this is an exception, so quick, listen up, lean in your ears, okay? Okay. So I have a friend named Greg. Greg is a filmmaker. He's phenomenal, super smart guy, knows his stuff inside and out. Well, Greg also has a side hustle or a side talent, something that he really enjoys, and that's making pizza. Yes, he loves making pizza pizza so usually once a month greg has this opening where he makes pizzas and everybody come and just hangs out and fellowships right and it's a super awesome event like i'm just blown away at the generosity that this man has okay like he's freaking amazing he had a closed event because he was trying some things out with a new oven and everything and he really needed some constructive criticism on which piece was best depending on the temperature depending on the time it was in the oven etc etc i was like you know what i'll take one of those spots i'll eat some of greg's pizza because greg's pizza is bomb if you haven't had greg's pizza go ahead and have it if you're in the Nashville area if you're not if you're somewhere like phoenix girl i'm sorry you're gonna have to wait i'm gonna go and I'm gonna try this pizza, and it's gonna be a bomb, okay? It's gonna be four pizzas at different temperatures, and I'll explain throughout the whole video. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try these pizzas and get a reaction, so here we go. Miss Greg making his pizza. Am I allowed to video this? You can video this. Okay, good. Not mixing. Good. You already are, aren't you? Yep. He made all the ingredients, so. Real good. And here's his, <laughs> and here's his, <laughs> his assistant. My Goomba. Your Goomba? Okay. Goomba! Goomba! Goomba or Boomba? <laughs> Goomba. Goomba, sorry. <laughs> the first temperature is at 500, isn't it? That's right. That's right. So he's going to try this pizza at 500. 500, and... 550, and 450. We'll see which one works best. Yep. We're excited. Are y'all excited? They're not excited because they're already. Oh. Ooh, is that mustard in there? Turn up! Fresh. I know. Made today. Made today? Where? Cocos. My Cocos. Cocos in the market. Oh, you be going to the real places. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'd yeah. like to learn how to make my own. I mean, I kind of know, but. It's time consuming, and I will eventually. It's just, you know, if I'm getting there, there's other things to worry about. Oh, yeah. So, yes. There's the spinach. Yeah, there's the spinach. I thought that was so much for the camera. That's the spinach. If for real, you're lying. You, you lying. That ain't spinach. That's well, not true. You know. You didn't know last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, seasoning salt. No. That's not seasoning salt. <laughs> It is? I thought you had put garlic in there. There's lots of garlic. Oh, I'm about to tear this up. All right, so he finished the first one. Yeah, it looks like it's a little overdone. Yeah, it looks so. a little overdone. You got some garlic here. Like, are we trying to, like, carry yeah, some uh, fancy spinach. I find that ironic. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that he knows how to work? He's putting the spinach on. He is. He's putting the fancy spinach. He's putting the, the stinky spinach on. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to try the pizza that was baked at 500. This is how the saucy one looks. So it's a little burnt, but it's okay. We're going to try this. Char, it's blackened. Hot? Cajun. Made it for you. It's hot! Woo! It's a little charred, but it's so good! Wow! So cheesy. And like, even though it's a little bit uh, black on the back of it, it's so good. I don't even taste that. It's so good. This is not spinach. It's pay. DiGiorno. Thank you, appreciate it. It's not DiGiorno. I just taste the like, the cheese and the sauce. Ooh, ooh. So 
this pizza was baked at 550 degrees. This one is charred too. And it's charred. But it looks like it's not on the outside. And it's um, for the same amount of time, yeah? Here, you want me to uh, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, the same. Now we're gonna try the second one. This one's superior. It's a little charred. <laughs> it's a little charred on the back. It's a little bit more charred, but we're gonna try it. It's more fresh, it's more it's, it's more fluffy mm. and just vibrant. Yeah. Well he's dead. The crust is a little lighter. It's the crust is lighter. This is what the it's, first one. It's like to fluffier, be. like he said. And but they took him to the basement so he can. And no, it's outside. it's charred, but like I said at first, so like you the, can't really taste it's charred. Oven baking skin. Downstairs I have a pizza. Oh, you saw it. Got a pizza oven downstairs. So this is the home oven with a baking Look. steel. Melts in your mouth. Nine your hands. And like dissolves, so you're not like oh. fighting the pizza to get it down. You know, like Domino's or something. You're like squaring up in your mouth to get it down. This kind of just like crumbles and melts in your mouth. I think the first one is pretty crispy on the bottom. But this one. I feel like this one better than the first one. Mm. Like this one's at 400. 450. And it looks amazing. How do you feel about this one? It was Yeah. I think he's excited. He's going to put the blessed spinach on there. <laughs> this is 450. Oh, yes, 450, not 400. You think the crust came out good? It looks good. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. We're excited. Alright, here's the third pizza. You think so? Yeah, it's far superior. Woo! It's hot still. Is it back? It's a little bit more flimsy. I like that. I like that. No, you don't like that? Oh, okay. Well, I do. <laughs> I don't know. I like the crunchiness of two. Okay, like it was crunchy, but also it didn't. The, yeah. It's tougher. It's like oh, stickier. Oh, it's more. The, the taste is more flat. It's yeah. not as like vibrant as number two. Yeah. Like, number two, every flavor, like the garlic, the tomatoes, the cheese. Yeah. I want to do just sit down. Everything just flows well. Yeah. With this one, it's a little. This is like one. Like Oh. Hot. I like how flimsy it is, but the flavor. The flavors are locking in. Pizza number four. Yeah, this one's at 500 degrees, but half the time, yeah? Not quite half, okay. about 12 minutes. 12 minutes, so yeah. I know. What you gonna do? Prison, as you can tell, like, indeed. Careful, then. He is risen. You just have to. Okay, okay. He is risen. So, so risen. I, I would do it. I would do it. All right, pizza four. Do you have the burnt end? Ooh, a little crispy. I got a smaller piece because I'm getting a little. I'm not used to that. As you were, it's really at its end. Is there a temperature on this? Five hundred for twelve minutes, risen crust. I feel like the crust is light, but extra crispy. But like it's, it's like light. That, that, that it, I don't. I can't explain it. It definitely dissolves in your mouth. I mean, I like the cheese. I put about one and a half. Those pizzas were bomb. So I think. Out of all the pizzas that were made, number two was pretty good. It was because of the flavor and the cons the flavor of the pizza and the consistency of the bread. So like when you eat the bread, it, it like melts in your mouth, but it was crunchy and it held its crunch even though the pizza got cold. So it was a really great consistency um, overall as far as crust. The flavor popped just as well. It was just enough as 
it was a just enough fluffy um, and it was great I think my second favorite was the fourth pizza the least charred it was kind of a pizza you could bend in half and eat a little bit like more than the other ones so it had that going for it however it was missing the flamboyant flavor that pizza two had the third pizza that i think third best was pizza one pizza one everything was great it was just i think it was out of the four the most burnt however out of all four you really didn't taste the burnt taste. I mean, at least for me, I didn't taste the burnt taste. I just knew it was burnt because I saw it. And like when you bite into it, you know, you, your tongue is literally touching it. But once you start chewing, like you really don't like know that it's it's been burnt or charred or whatever the word is. The flavor is um, just as good as number two. It's just that number two wasn't as burnt or charred as number one if all of this makes sense say amen amen okay and then my fourth favorite which is the least favorite was pizza number three so it was burnt just i mean charred whatever the flavors weren't as much at all that's why number three was my least favorite of all of them being that number two was my favorite it was because of the flavoring and because it was a little charred, but it did not bring out that taste. Um, and it was a little bit fluffier. So, anyways, overall, I think they are great pizzas. All four of them were wonderful. Honestly, if you have a soda and two pizzas, two slices, you're done for. Like, the slices look thin and small. It doesn't look like there's much on them, but they will fill you up. Um, just the flavors everything was organic thank you so 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 much Greg for allowing me to make this video and basically shout you out if you don't know who Greg is and what his pizzas are I will post a link down below of his Instagram and uh, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys later bye